showers out of her in the course of the day because she doesn't go down. She keeps the energy, it's like the Energizer Bunny at the 9 o'clock thing when she starts to, you know, the eyes start to droop and she's thinking about going to bed. Now I've got her with Tilo at 11.30 at night talking to me while I'm working on my computer. <laughs> so I've watched her be energized. Because what the patches do, it's not like they give you energy. I mean, that is in essence what is going on. But the patches give you energy when you want it, if you need it. In other words, if you if you're still running after a mile when you normally run a mile and you go, Okay, I'm gonna go another half mile and you're wearing the patches, they just kick right in. You just go that extra half mile as if it was normal and you don't think twice about it. The patches give the that the patches tell the body, turn fat into energy now when you ask for it. So if you're not asking for it, there's not a lot that you really probably, I would say many people won't notice if they're not asking for the energy. But when they reach for it, if they need it, it's there. I can definitely testify to that, being somebody who's a complete vital personality who doesn't need anything energetic. I don't need energetic products. They're not even interesting to me. But when I go on the gym, it's interesting to me to lift more weight because it makes my muscles look bigger. And I can do it with this product, and I can maybe get out of the gym 20 minutes sooner, which for me is even more important because time is money, and sometimes I feel guilty when I'm in the gym because I realize I should get home and get on the phone. <laughs> yeah, it take you a while to find out where to put the patches? I'm sorry? It take you a while to find out where the patches um, I've kind of settled for wearing them on my chest. I also, um, so I... I think the ankles and the knees are also good places to wear them. Everybody is different. I still experiment. I, I've been liking wearing them on the chest when I'm in the gym. I think it's like Ronnie Coleman was, is wearing them there in all those pictures. I think for people who lift upper body stuff, that seems to be a good, the best place to wear the patches. And your girlfriend, same? Uh, she's experimenting. She wore, them on the, she wore them on her knees yesterday, and the time before that she wore them on her wrists. Uh, and I think, wow. So she's still experimenting, and yeah, we're definitely still trying to find out where the best place is. You know, like arm wrestlers, they go straight to the wrist, just above the wrist. You've seen that arm wrestling video, right? Yeah, that was good. Yeah, you know, that's the other thing. They just go right onto the wrist. I'm working with the gym. I just dropped some off the other day, and I've got to go back and follow up. Um, I'm out of shape myself. Um, should I put the patches on before and work out, and then put them on? Oh no, put them on before you go work out, absolutely. Um, put them on before you work out and just go through your normal workout. See, you know, in my case, like I say, I noticed immediately that when I was walking away from a machine that I've walked away from for years now, it taken two or three minutes to recover before I went back and did my second set. I mean, I'm 30 seconds away from the machine, I'm going, wow, I'm ready to lift again. That's normal, that's not normal. Just plain old, it's not. It, it takes time to recover, and with the product, there's very little. So you'll get a good workout. In my, you know, and everybody's different, but I, I can't imagine you won't notice something when you're in the gym, because that's if you if you're familiar with your body and what it can do, and you go into the gym and you wear the patches, I can't see how you wouldn't notice a difference. I, I don't know anybody who hasn't really, unless you're not familiar with your body and what. It